Welcome to our channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today we will talk about climbing, but not in the way you imagine it. Let's talk about the climbing that goats do. Yeah, you heard right. Today we'll take a closer look at the alpine ibex, which are the true natural climbers. Their innate skills allow them to tread where very few would dare. Stay with us, we're starting now. Let's go. It is no coincidence that the Alpine Ibex has the word Alpine in its name. It is in the mountains that it's the easiest for these animals to hide from predators. And it is on mountain slopes that they can discover new meadows and graze abundantly on green grass. Alpine Ibex, or simply Ibex, is an even-toed ungulate, a genus of wild goats. The Ibex lives in the Alps along the snow line above the forests. It can rise up to 3,500 meters above sea level. In ancient times and in the Middle Ages, the Ibex was the object of strong mystification, as a result of which all its usable attributes from blood and wool to excrement were used in medicine against all kinds of diseases. All this nearly led to the extinction of the Ibex. At the beginning of the 19th century, the number of Ibex in the entire Alpine region barely exceeded 100 individuals. Thanks to the successful Ibex restocking program in the Alps, they are now spotted again in many parts of their original habitat. Alpine Ibex are amazing animals. They demonstrate such climbing abilities that leave other animals, including most humans, in awe. Climbing very high steep cliffs is easy for them. Ibex stay on mountaintops most of the year, shedding their fur winter coat only when they come down in spring and summer. Ibex are simply made for mountain life. Short, strong legs help them to climb and jump over uneven surfaces. Strong male climbers with muscular legs and wide hooves can weigh over 120 kilograms, while the weight of females is around 60 to 90 kilograms. Alpine Ibex aren't afraid of severe frosts or snowstorms. Like any climber, these goats have adapted to long jumps thanks to their elaborated hooves. They have cloven hooves, like two widely spaced toes, that improve balance over any unevenness. Plus, their coarse, spongy inner pads provides good traction on smooth surfaces. The hair that grows between the toes of the Alpine Ibex ensures even better grip. So their unusual legs allows them to climb extremely steep and uneven peaks. Equally important are their exceptional sense of balance, precise coordination of movements, and keen vision. These mountain animals are capable of fast jumps. Even a tiny stone is enough for alpine ibex to place their hoof on it. If the animal gets to a dead end and there's nowhere to go, then the goat simply jumps down. In case there's no platform below where it could stop, it continues to jump down further, bouncing off the stone walls. They are even able to turn during a jump, so as to land on a proper support. Mountain goats are usually snow-white animals, although some individuals have a grayish coat. Due to their small horns and white coat, they look a lot like domestic goats. However, they're only similar in their looks. Mountain goats are very aggressive. These animals are considered the largest alpine mammals. Their height at the withers is 90 to 105 centimeters, and their weight can reach 56 to 81 kilograms. Long, surprisingly beautiful, and thick wool covers them like a fur coat. This coat is what allows them to withstand both the low winter temperatures down to negative 50 degrees Celsius and the harshest winds. These goats have extremely strong limbs. Thanks to their strong legs, goats can easily handle the steepest and most dangerous climbs and descents. Photographers are often attracted by the sight of goats, briskly moving along sheer dam walls. But why would alpine ibex climb steep, man-made walls? It's all about their diet. Alpine ibex live high in the mountains where they search for meadows with grass and bushes. As for their diet, they are rather undemanding animals. They eat moss, lichens, dry grass, dry branches, and even poisonous plants. However, what they desperately lack in the mountains is salt. There is a high content thereof in stones used for dam building. 
Moreover, water leaves a thin layer of salt on the walls of the dam. The goats climb with the help of their hooves, as if they were made of rubber. They literally stick to the almost vertical walls in order to lick the salt off of them. It is also common to see goats grazing on the asphalt, which is an easier and safer way to find salt. By the way, here's an interesting fact. Just a few days after birth, a young ibex can already follow its mother along narrow rock ledges, over deep crevices, or along steep slopes. It's amazing how skillfully they jump from one steep ledge to another, and they don't even need a running start for this. Strong and flexible legs allow them to jump two meters high and leap over crevices up to four meters wide. They also aren't afraid of jumping down from an eight meter height. No less amazing is the sight of alpine ibex fighting. It's not just horn clashing between two animals. It actually includes jumping, flipping blows, and plunging falls from ledges. Sometimes during a fierce battle, the winner pushes its opponent into the abyss. Sometimes the goat's movements in battle even resemble dancing in a way. Alpine ibex are polygamous animals with a gregarious lifestyle. Adult males prefer to live apart, joining females only for the mating period. Fights often occur between rivals. The male must be at least six years old to have a chance to win such a fight and start its own herd. Among mountain goats, the dominant position is occupied by females. So males have developed some unusual mating behavior. The male sits on the ground on its hind legs, digging a hole with its front legs. During courtship, the male walks around the female on bent legs, with its tongue sticking out, thereby demonstrating humility. Alpine ibex use the steep heights of their mountain homes to protect themselves from predators. Their biggest enemies are bears, wolves, cougars, and golden eagles, which can grab the kid of the alpine ibex. Thanks to their caution, their excellent ability to start running abruptly in case of danger, as well as their speed and agility, they definitely manage to get away from their pursuers. It is very difficult to catch these fast animals, especially on their territory. Even for such an unsurpassed mountain hunter as the snow leopard, The only chance for a bear, wolf, or fox is to trap the goat or to hunt for an old, sick individual. With birds, things are a little different. The eagle can catch the herd by surprise, grab and carry away a young kid. If the prey is larger, the bird is unlikely to succeed. Moreover, the alpine ibex fights till the end. It runs, jumps, wiggles, rolls over, and does everything possible to stay alive. Humans pose a threat to the alpine ibex as hunting them is legal in many states that are home to this animal. That is why the ibex feels safe high in the mountains. However, there is another rather serious danger these beautiful mountain animals face. This enemy doesn't have teeth or claws, but it is no less dangerous, a snow avalanche. This natural element leaves the animal powerless Avalanches take the lives of more alpine ibex than all predators combined. Since childhood, we have believed that a goat cannot climb a tree on its own. However, the behavior of the goats from Morocco proves the opposite. There are few pastures in this country, and hungry animals are forced to graze in the trees. Of course, there is no specific species of goat that is able to climb trees. All goats have an excellent inborn ability to maintain balance in extremely steep terrain. The favorite tree of the Moroccan even-toed ungulates is argan, which grows only in the south of this country. Argan oil, which is extremely valuable in cosmetology, is produced from the kernels of the argan tree. The kernels are fried first to get an analog of olive oil, which is suitable for cooking and tastes like almonds and hazelnuts. It was previously thought that goats cause significant harm to trees by devouring argan leaves and fruits. However, this isn't entirely true. Having climbed a tree, goats really do gnaw on its branches, feasting on leaves and fruits. But eating the fruit doesn't destroy the kernels. The goats ingest the soft shell while spitting out the kernel with the seed. This way, goats inadvertently help farmers who collect kernels and even the country's economy. 
because argan oil occupies a significant niche in Morocco's exports. So, alpine ibex are animals with amazing skills that have adapted to living in very harsh conditions. They are the best climbers in the entire natural world. Well, that's all for today. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to always stay in the loop, as we still have a lot of interesting stuff coming up. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.